Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm showing you how to set up your Note 8 home screens. So um, this is obviously my suggestion on how I set up my home screens, uh, but it's a nice way to look at it. So I will, I took a picture of this to show you how it originally looked, and then I will show you how I changed it. So if you follow me and you don't end up liking the way it looks, you can always change it back, okay? So uh, first thing is I do get rid of the weather clock one. So I do remove that. And what I like to use is an app called HD Widgets. It is by far a fan favorite on my channel. Almost everyone has uh, really liked it and uh, downloaded it. And I've had a lot of people tell me how much they like it. So that's the uh, main one I use. So I will go to Widgets and I will use the one for a seven inch tablet, which is uh, the six by one. You can also use a six by two if you like. I don't like to take that much space with it, so I will use six by one. And then I uh, have already set this up. Um, so to give you an idea though of how I set it up, I just chose um, the clock I wanted, or no, actually first. First I chose the background that I wanted. Then I chose the clock. Then I chose the screen, how it looked behind the clock, chose the clock color, and then the font itself. Then I went to the sidebar and I like toggles instead of knowing the next days of weather. I just need to know today's weather for the most part. Then I chose the switches, uh, which I like to use brightness, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi for my quick switches. And then I chose the color of the switches and then the text. And then my editor couldn't keep his phone off, so that was Sega. <laughs> and so that's the top of my device. Now what I like to put on here is uh, generally email and calendar, so I see that right on my screen so I can tell like how my day is going. So I will put my email on here, or yeah, first I'll put my Gmail on here. And remember these go in alphabetic order. So I will first I will put my Gmail on here. And inbox, and there we are. And can't make that smaller, so that will be it. And then I will put my calendar on here. Oops. So I like this calendar, it's the traditional one. Um, Samsung has their own one, but as a widget, I like this. I love Samsung's calendar app, but I don't care as much for their widget. So this is how I like to lay this out. And this is just, um, I don't like it as much. Um, if I do want to search Google, I usually use the voice search. So I will put the voice search app on here. So I can just quickly voice search if need be. Now for the rest of the apps, um, I like to create folders. So I will put all of my Samsung uh, folders, uh, or Samsung apps in a folder called Samsung apps. So I will take this one to start it off and go to this folder, create a folder right here. And I will create one called Samsung. Oops. So now that I created that, now I'm going to drop my Samsung apps in there. So I'll drop, you know, I'll put Dropbox in there. I will put my email in there. I don't need the calendar here anymore. So that's the first one I'm going to get rid of since I have the calendar there. And as soon as you open that calendar, it takes you to the Samsung calendar. So that's the first one I'm going to remove out of my bottom five. Um, and I can put the other Samsung apps. So some of the other Samsung apps that you might like to use are All Share Play, which allows you to um, mirror this device onto other devices such as the S3 and Note 2. Um, Chat On is an instant messenger one. And 
Let's see some of the other Samsung apps that I use. I'm not a big fan of the music player, the Media Hub. I use Google Music for all my music needs. S Note, of course, I will keep there because that's one that I mainly use. Um, Group Play is another good one. And don't use too many. S Voice, I can put there if I ever want to use that one. And Samsung Cares. Uh, Samsung Cares is a really great app um, made to do like how to videos uh, for Samsung's main apps. So those are going to be the main ones I use. So that's what I'll create there. And then above that, I like to create a Google folder. I use many Google services, so I create a Google folder. So I usually um, kick it off with, actually not Gmail, uh, with Chrome. So let me create a Google. Oops. Google, I use a lot more of their apps. So, let's just go down the list. So, Chrome, I put first there. Uh, another thing I use Google Drive, that's the online gigs of five, uh, five gigs of online storage. Um, another thing I use is Google Finance for all my stocks. Another thing I use is, of course, Gmail, but I will leave that out of there. Uh, just because I already have it there, Google Plus to back up all of my photos every time I'm in a Wi-Fi network. Google Keep, really great for writing down quick notes. Google Maps, of course. Oh, My Files is actually another Samsung one I use. Uh, Google Offers to find the latest deals, kind of like a Groupon or... Um, other kind of service like that, and then I have Google Books, Google Magazines, those two I don't use as often, but I definitely use Google Music, that's my main uh, place where I download all my digital music, all my digital movies, Google Music of course, although Google Play Music I like to be right at the front because I do listen to more music. Office, I also like to be at the front, so I will put that there already, just so it's ready for me. And then for the wrapping up on Google, I do use Google Talk, which is like an instant messenger and video chat service. And I use Google Translate. Now, the other apps I like to have on the front are Camera, of course, just in case you ever want to take a quick photo. I also like to have video player, it just shows off videos a lot better comparing to the gallery. Watch on is a remote control, so that's always good to have as well. And then, hmm, now this is where it kind of winds down. to which apps I have from here. So it depends on the user. Um, you could have Facebook, if you are a big Facebook user. Um, you could also have um, Netflix. That's another one that people, of course, use a lot. And another one would be YouTube. Because um, at the bottom here, I am missing one app, I will put the remote control watch on right there. And over here, I will end up putting YouTube. And that is my main screen now. Now, I like to keep a uh, Play Store right there just so I can easily get to, uh, to download new apps or get new apps. I like to keep uh, settings right there just to quickly get to the settings. If I swipe one over, I have set up. I don't know what that is. Uh, apparently, one of my friends posted that. I will. Just refresh that to see what is saying better. There you go, more more PG. Um, I have Flipboard right here for all my news feed. I have Google Keeps uh, widget right here to quickly make a note, whether it be a regular note, checklist, 
uh, voice note or picture note. Google Now, which kind of keeps me up to date with all of my current statuses. To the right, I usually have a full page of games. I am a gamer, so I usually have a full page of games. Obviously, that's based on the person. On this page, I have blanket, but this time, but I might make like a widget there, or a couple widgets. And over here, I have the S note, which is to the left of this one. So I can quickly uh, make specific types of S notes if I don't want to go right there. So that is how I recommend you set up your home screens for the Note 8. If you have any questions or something uh, that you saw on there that you had a question about, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, The Android Guy.